It is Father's Day, and I got all my girls here, plus all the boys. Hello. 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 Hey, you need any help? Today I am having lunch with my friend Sarah up by school and then I gotta go sign my contract. <laughs> I've been trying to walk every day for about five minutes. Not about five minutes, exactly five minutes. And then I do some light resistance and call it a day. I have to really be careful though, like I can't overdo it. Cause if I do, I am like done so for the whole entire next day. So, um, super light resistance, short walk. I'm only walking like I'm chopping out at two miles an hour. Most of it's like at 1.5. I have to hold on to the railing, otherwise, <laughs> it would not be good. So, okay, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> I'm on my way back up to Tustin, and I'm meeting my friend Sarah. Hi. Mrs. Hughes is one of my best friends up there, and I uh, just miss her. I haven't seen her since we got out of school two weeks ago. <laughs> and so she just got back from a trip to Paso Robles, and, uh, and we're meeting up for lunch. I guess I, I could have parked right there. I didn't see it. Huh? I didn't see it. Hi. Hi. Oh, how are you? How are you? How's our amphitheater next to the winery? And all the, um... Say hi. Hi. I just love Sarah so much. She is such a good friend. I also have to sign my contract for next year. And let me give you a little background. I used to work in a different district. Peace out, someday! I spent the first 10 years over there and I was tenured. I was a permanent teacher, which means my job was secure from year to year. And when I took this new job three years ago, I lost tenure because I changed districts. And so I became a temp employee, which means that every single year, right around March, I get pink slipped. And this year, I didn't say one word about it. I just kind of rolled with uh, rolled with the punches. This year, I was like, I'm gonna just let God do his thing. And whatever he wants, that's what's gonna happen. And so I didn't say anything, I just trusted. And we this year's a little bit different though because um we lost a lot of kids. 
they said like 300 kids aren't coming back next year, which is a lot. So dec declining enrollment has really s impacted my school. And so they weren't sure if they were going to be able to bring me back for one. And I'm like, okay, like I told myself if that's, if that's the way it's supposed to be, then that's the way it's going to be, you know? And then, um, they like, it's not because we don't want to bring you back. It's just, we don't know if we can bring you back. And so the last day of school, my principal comes up to me and she's like, okay, um, no, no, actually, let me go back a little bit. Okay, I'm here. Time to sign some contracts. Right after I got pink slip, they're like, okay, we want to bring you back, but we can only offer you a part-time contract. Three classes. Five classes is full-time, three classes what they offered me. And so I, um, I'm like, cool, like I'll take it. But it has a really huge impact on my health insurance. So you have to teach at least three classes to qualify for insurance. And then you have to make up the difference in percentage of whatever that costs for your health insurance. My district offers a really cheap one that's like, I don't even know how much it is, like 30 bucks or something like that. But because I have to go to this UCI clinic, it's not covered in that. So I had to up my insurance and last year it cost me like, I don't remember, it's like 300 bucks or something like that. So now that I'm part-time, I have to make up the difference and that's going to be about $700 a month. Woo! Uh, that looks like a tie to me. Let's see, let's see. No, you got to push your hair out. Yeah, no poofy hair. Yeah, exactly. Okay, move your hand, move your hand. I see my feeling. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not. Okay, okay, okay. No, shorter. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. whatever you know there's nothing I can do like I got I I have to have this insurance like there's no way around it so still like nothing was gonna get me you know now so then the last day of school my principal comes up to me and she's like okay we just I, she's like, I want you to know that it's not because you can't fill your classes because my classes are full, man. She goes, and it's not that we don't want you here. It's just we don't have enough kids and the district hasn't approved the sections for your classes. So she's like, you're going to sign your contract today. And this was uh, a couple weeks ago. And she's like, but be ready to come back a couple of days later to sign another contract because I'm sure I can get you to four classes. And by the time school starts, I'm fairly certain I can get you back up to a full schedule. And I'm like, okay. Like, whatever, man. I'm just going to roll with it. Like, a part-time schedule was, was kind of appealing, you know, with my whole health concerns. But, um... I would love to go back full time too. I here's my goal. Like my goal in my short life is to work four more years. Like I want to work. I want to work four more years. I want to work till I'm sixty. And first, I gotta live till I'm sixty. But I, I like I would love that. I just don't know, man. I just don't know if my body's gonna hold out. Well, there you go. Sign my contract. It's official. I am a 58% teacher. <laughs> Seriously, there has got to be a better way to do this. It's, uh... It's just so silly. They had us in there for like nine minutes. 
I'm not even like 100% sure what I'll be teaching. God wants me to be a teacher. So who am I to argue? made it to the end of the video again I just want to say thank you it means so much to me really and like always let's write go find some joy in the comments below and then I'll know I'll know who the real ones are all right